So let us discuss the key concept for today. While talking to Radhika and also Shantanu and Priya, we understood that investing for our goals is so important, whether it is for our kids' higher education or for our retirement. But what precedes investing is getting risk out of our lives. And like we discussed that what would happen if there was an income loss and there are dependents in our family who are actually dependent on this income which we contribute uh, you know, and save for their life goals. So the first thing which we need to do as a family is to understand who are our dependents and what is the quantum of risk which we carry as a family. We also learn to quantify risk via two methods. One was the income replacement method and other was the expense replacement or a need based method. We understood that you know what is the optimum amount of term insurance which we need to take as a family to replace the loss of income if something were to happen to the earning members of the family. The second thing which we discussed or which you need to evaluate is the kind of health insurance you have, whether all the dependents in the family are covered with the adequate amount of health insurance. We also discussed that just an employer's health insurance is not enough. It's always wise to have a separate or personal health insurance policy over and above the health insurance which your employer is providing. Uh, we also discussed that in case if there is a history of critical illness in your family, then it's always wise to add a critical illness cover to mitigate risk of any critical illnesses which may happen and which would lead to a loss of income to the family. And last but not the least, we should also evaluate our personal accident and disability cover because while we are young, the chances of mortality or loss of income, you know, from the earning, if something were to happen to the earning members is higher due to accidents uh, than say sicknesses or illnesses. So it's always good to add a personal accident and disability cover. With all this, the four things which we discussed today are uh, adequate or an optimum term insurance, health insurance for all dependents in the family, critical illness cover and a personal accident and disability cover. With this, we have a robust risk plan in place and we've fairly been able to mitigate the risk which our family would carry. In the last three case studies, we understood how important it is to quantify risk and also mitigate risk. In the next series, we will bring up a very important concept in personal finance, which is estate planning.